In this video, we're at what might be the most beautiful golf course in the world. And if it looks familiar, that's because it's hosted the PGA Tours Tournament of Champions for the past 25 years. So it seemed like the perfect venue for me and Sean to play our final round of our head-to-head -head tournament. This is awesome. We get this view like on 85% of the course. Juan has come to play here. He was painting it, dude. Oh, oh we got the thumbs up. Oh my goodness. I mean, did we time this up perfectly or what? Six. We're getting there early so we can fly the drone. Shelly can fly the drone. And then after we do that, we get to go hang out. They told us we can hang out at the Kapalua Beach, so let's go head over there. Ah. I just feel like, I don't know, maybe someone must need a nap in the car or something. Yeah. <laughs> dronesman. Dronesman. Early morning dronesman. Take off. Walking into the clubhouse, Shaler has actually already seen some of the stuff here, but we've got some cool pictures in this clubhouse. There's a picture of the tournament here. Who's this? Oh, that's Hideki. Oh yeah. It's a video, actually, because he's still paused at the top. <laughs> Dude, I, I was just sent back to this 2023 John Rahm winning first tournament of the year where he had that hot streak of golf. Yeah, I think Colin played really well, too, but I think he kind of had some chipping issues that they love to talk about, uh, apparently, on the I telecast. Mean, but Bermuda's hard to chip off. Bermuda's hard for everybody. Anyone. Glass. That's Shaler, actually, right here. You guys can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm on tour. <laughs> yeah, you are, man. Yeah, thanks for doing the camera work this week. Shall we go? Yeah. All right, we just got done at the beach. Still wearing this stuff. What the? Still got so much sand on me. Uh, which locker do I go with, Shaler? Probably this one, huh? Probably that one, yeah. I mean, why would you pick any other ones? <laughs> on top of our stroke play tournament, we're going to be playing a little money match. It's a format we've done on the channel before where the first hole is worth $10, second hole is worth $20, all the way up to hole 18, which will be worth $180. And every hole that we tie, that money carries over to the next hole, causing a lot of volatility on the back nine. There's a lot on the line today, and I cannot wait to show you guys the views on this course. All right, you guys heard the intro. We're doing a little classic little money match with my boy, Sean. Uh, but yeah, first hole looking right out into the ocean, mountain in the back. Let's get right into it. Oh yeah. A uh, hair left of what you told me, but should be all right. I think you're primo. You can use that tee if you want. Shout out Kapalua tees, by the way. Pretty cool. I got a whole bunch of them in my bag now. <laughs> Nothing I love more than hitting three wood. It's the most toppable club in the bag. But uh, <laughs> right over the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, the left gold tee marker is the line. Went a little bit off right to left. This is just gorgeous. Yeah, right. Pretty similar line, I think. All right. Should be good. I think so. Look at that, Quan. We got off the first hole. All right. <laughs> Well, we should not have hit three woods. We should have hit two irons or potentially even three irons, but we're on this downslope in the rough. Not a great flag to be at the spot though. 133 adjusted. Trying to hit this thing like a 128, 130 uh, pitching wedge. Stop, stop, stop. All right. 
bit of an odd shot to start the day, but we're on the green, not too bad. I got 138 down to 133 as well. Yeah, like Juan said, we probably should have hit iron. You don't really see that many people down here in the tournament, but we're just built different, right, Quan? Needless to say, this is gonna be quite the match today. I feel like, I mean, there's some scoring opportunities here. The wind is down. I think it's gonna be shootout. This is so weird. Yeah. Step through that thing like it was a drill. Should roll right. Yeah, you're putting. Go that way. Dude, it's such a severe slope there. Yeah. Um, regardless, we got a putt for birdie. All right, I thought this <laughs> putt wasn't so long. It is a pretty long putt, putting into the wind. Just trying to get the speed right here. It's more about the speed than the line, really. I'm kind of not that unhappy about that being short. Cause I was kind of scared after I hit that ball. This is Kapalua though. You end up with like 70 footers all day long. So, uh, well, especially if you hit it where we did. It's like downhill, but like back into the grain. So it's gonna kind of even it out a little bit. Yeah, Thank you. I will give you that one. All right, we take those. We take those.com. Taco golf. All right, got some meat left here. I think it's barely moving a little right to left. Would not like to start this round with a three putt. I know this hole is only worth $10, but for the stroke play, four round match thing, I gotta try to keep up with Sean, so. Try to make this thing. Mm. Didn't even sniff the hole. Good job there, yep, 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 yep. It's a three putt to start today. It's gotta be better than that. All right, second hole, we got a little par three, 201. I think the wind's a little bit down off the left as well. Pin looks like it's, what is it, front right? Yeah, take a tough front right pin for this wind especially. Yeah, what you got? I have a six iron. I think I'm gonna try to maybe land it short and kind of chase it. Mm. Well, I needed to warm up a little bit after our intermission. Please bounce. That's so gross. It bounce? I have no idea. That was so gross. All right, I'm also gonna go with a six. Maybe take like five yards off. Maybe not. Maybe I will. Maybe not. That was even more hideous. I, that, that, was, that was... That was not good. Fairway hit. All right. Uh, honestly, we just had a technical difficulty with the drone. The drone might be just done. Like, I don't think it's working anymore. Some weird error message keeps coming up. I like, couldn't hit balls like 30 minutes. That's why I hit... That's why I hit such a bad shot. But let's try to get this thing up and down. Neutralize our mistake there. All right, I don't know why it kicked so far to the right, but I got a putt for par. All right, Shaler, um, chunk and run, I guess. Perfectly pin high. I don't know how the world that happened. I think if I win this hole, it's another 20 bucks to put me up 30. Quan's got a little left for his par, but I'd love to uh, just make this putt so he didn't have to worry about this. Little aggressive, little bit aggressive. Oh, whoa. I mean, that is an ugly ass par, but <laughs> we're getting out of this hole. Never a doubt. I don't know why I doubted you. Never a doubt. Appreciate that. So what? It's a $20 carry over to the next hole, so the next, next hole's, hole's worth $50. $50, yep. Woo! Feel I good. I that's just him. Feel good. Feel ah, good. Ah, let's go, baby. Look Drone at that. Drone is up. Look at that. Drone is up. I don't know what you were, I can't even find him, where is he? <laughs> We fix the drone, We're knock good. on wood. Um, all right, driver, this is hole number three. It's about 420 par four. Houses right, crap left, wind off the left. Kind of probably the narrowest tee ball here at Plantation, so better hit it good. Ooh. 
looks solid, I think. Don't go in that bunker that it just went in. So other than that, that's okay. I thought it was carrying, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, we will. All right, let's go with the big dog. A little left, I, I thought that bunker was carryable. Maybe for you. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's the miss. That was not hit very good. I, I, I'm rattled. I'm legitimately rattled from the drum. I'll figure it out here. Dude, I'm looking at these views out here with the ocean and the mountain in the background. Honestly, this place kind of reminds me of Jack's Point. You guys put in the comments where the most beautiful course that you've played, put that down in the comments because I want to know, hey, maybe I'll go there one day, but this place is so unreal. You guys can see that in the background. My goodness, this place is so awesome. All right, I got 182 in the rough, unfortunately. Fortunately, not in this, this stuff, so little winds. I might go five iron, it's into the wind, straight into, so maybe take a hair off this guy. Probably in the bunker? <laughs> I gotta figure something out. This has not been good so far. 166 out of this fairway bunker, Quan. You'd hit seven probably, huh? I think so. I know, I'm just worried a seven might not get there. Uh, that's what I was thinking, at least a seven. I know, so I have a six iron. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna hit that. Look at you, new day, new Kapalua shirt. Dude, honestly. They're hooking you up. Our contact here has been, oh, and really, just frankly, the team's been so. Look at that, I got the, oh, wait, no. Is it on this side? Yeah, there's my little butterfly. Now I got my sea turtle shirt. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go, man. I'm looking good. A little chunky. Chunky monkey. Um, all right, now the chunk out of the ferry bunker is never really the play, but nonetheless, got kind of a tight lie, a 40 yard pitch shot here. I mean, I have a really good lie, so it's just a matter of executing, so I think it's time to execute. Pretty good. It's pretty grainy out here. I mean, the fairways are in super good shape, but like that, Oh, I thought I expected that to do more. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awkward. All right, Shaler. My ball actually came up a decent amount. That's probably about pin high-ish, but obviously too far right. I've got no green to work with, and I think it's kind of running away as well, so I have no choice. I have to get cute with this, get it as close as I can to this lip. Let it trickle out. I will take that from where I was right there. Not too bad. $50 hole. Fifty dollar pot. Wow, this man is clutch. That was a good putt. Thanks, man. All right, this has been very, very ugly golf for me so far. That was a good up and down. I guess for both of us, that was, was kind of say, ugly. Yeah, like this is my normal. Yeah, this, dude. this was pretty ugly for both of us on this hole. But we're gonna get it dialed in. All right, hole four, par four, 422, up the hill. We don't really see a whole lot on where this ball is landing, but I mean, it looks like we're just going right at the middle. Kind of where that cloud is right now. The cloud's gonna move though. Uh, no, well, that'd be a fast cloud if it moves in between now and when I hit. That should be fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Pick I really just don't love the start of not really warming up and then like multiple off of my left shoulder. Very narrow, kind of, well, like the narrowest tee balls on this course, but I think I'm okay there. Hey! Fairway hit. First step down. Let's try to make a bird. Come on, boys. All right, we got 187. <laughs> This is a freaking long hole off the left. You go with the seven, try to ride the wind a little bit. It needs to finish right of the flag. Be the numb. Just be the numb. Oh. It's all right. Rather be short. Should be a straight up little putt. All good. Wow. It is off the green. Look at where it is. 
Just kidding. All right, um, I got 178. It's kind of gonna knuckle out of here. I think I'm gonna go with seven. And yeah, just gonna, I'm gonna keep it right. Make sure that we kind of avoid that false front left. Stay left. That is going to be the longest putt ever. I mean, Michael did say that these are the biggest greens on tour. So I am just, I mean, I've probably had 300 feet of putts already. All right, this is, uh, I can now see why my ball rolled back down. It's quite a bit of a steep slope, but I'm gonna try to carry that uh, ridge. Just kind of stop it pretty quick. So get some height on it, land it soft. Just kidding. Not doing that anymore. Low ball. Trying to land that thing on the green, it almost came out too low. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to make that thing. All right, Shaler, this should sweep pretty good right to left. Just kind of everything's heading this way back towards the water. Uh, I think this is a $90 hole, so if I can two putt, that'll force Quan to have to make that 10 footer for par. Bang. Oh my lord. I love the way I hit it. Still got a little bit of work left though. All right, up the hill here for my putt. I, mean, I want to say it moves right to left based off Sean's, but I feel like it might go left to right. There's also some wind left to right, so there's, there's a lot of like back and forth here. Mm. I am getting punched into you know what by this course right now. All right, we got about an eight footer here, maybe like seven feet. It's definitely gonna work right. And you kind of, you guys kind of saw Quans go pretty good right. Good putt, wow. Well, comebacker. Good putt. Thanks, I got him to give me 90 bucks and knuckles. All right, hole five, par five. We've got a random bunker in the middle. I don't think that bunker's in play, actually. Uh, kind of goes all the way to the right. Jungle to the right, jungle to the left. Hit it straight. That's good advice there. Did not see it. Uh, a little right of the bunker. Yeah. I, I want to say you're fine. I think I'm fine. There's a ton of room over yeah, there. Yeah, it, it looks more intimidating right. than it is, I think. I think it's one of those that actually the more right that you go, like that you kind of press it, you actually obviously get closer because it kind of goes to the right, but it's just a little scary to watch. Should be good. That bunker's like 330. Uphill, I don't think I got that. It's pretty, pretty significantly uphill. All right, 198, a little bit uphill, 206. It's kind of a little bit of a scary shot, but our wind's kind of down off the left. I think I'm gonna go with six iron pins on the left, but we have plenty of room left of the green as well. It just doesn't look like it. Dude, my oh. swing is so poo-poo right now. Where's the slide? Oh man, that was such like a don't go right please and just that way. <laughs> Frick. All right, I got 198 adjusted, 191 actual. Um, when, yeah, down off the left still, so. I don't know, everything's telling me to hit a seven, but I think I'm just not hitting it great right now, so I'm just gonna go with a six. Try to, you know, play for a slight miss hit. That's confidence inspiring. <laughs> Good thing I hit a six. Reach, reach. I feel like that actually might be good. I don't, I don't know. Did you just blade a six iron in the I hole? I bladed it. <laughs> yeah. It kind of had that look, didn't it? <laughs> it kind of had that look. A couple groups in. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it seems very puttable with how, like, how kind of firm this fringe is, but, yeah. you know, hey, it's time to lean into our demons. I hit a good pitch shot here. I got a 60. It's kind of running away from me and a little bit to the right. Quan's in tight, man. Uh, I got to get it up and down to at least hopefully eliminate a little bit of the damage. Okay. 
settle in the hole almost i like that dude did you see how clean i picked that too? yeah that was nice oh my gosh man i love that i want to do that for the rest of my life all right i've got a lucky eagle putt but i i need this putt to drop the way my round has been going get it back to even as if nothing even happened should be going left to right again needs to drop Like nothing even happened. Let's go. Let's go back to even. Just erase that little rough start there. One hole. There you go. I mean, it's a good birdie. Yeah. Like I said, eliminated the damage. I had a feeling you were going to make that. And so what? I'm one under on the day and you're back to even. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hole six, par four, wind's kind of off our right. I think it's also into, but there's a big old bunker in the middle of the fairway. We're trying to go right of that. I think it's a big old downhill slope. Hit driver. Oh boy. <laughs> Somehow roll through it. Yeah, that ain't rolling through nothing. Might be in that bunker. Probably not a good spot. <laughs> All right, back in the wind. I feel like we've had a lot in the wind holes so far. But yeah, that left bunker doesn't seem as good. I'm gonna try to go a little bit right of that. That is what we were trying to do right there. Look at you, being a model. Okay. Beautimus. I don't feel like it's very far, but it's straight. And that's what matters today. Uh, our guy was telling me that I'm just gonna, I'll be fine, I'll just have a blind shot. He's right, but the blind shot is very blind. I mean, we're going like legitimately 20 yards downhill to the point where this will be a little scary in the air with how long the ball's gonna be in the air. So I'm gonna try to lessen that effect a little bit, go with like a eight iron or nine iron from 135 adjusted. I think actual is like 160. No, it's like 150. It's a long way down. I don't even know where to hit this. It's on the green. It's kind of a weird one. 131 to 120. Get into this wind. I mean, it's just the hang time that's kind of scary. Just hit a puncher. I know. I'm definitely flighting something. I just don't know if it's a nine or a wedge. I feel like a wedge, if I kind of try to hit it low, it's just gonna, you know, kind of balloon up. I'm gonna go nine. I know it seems like a lot of club, but I'm just gonna kind of flight it and try to hit it about 130. And I feel like that's gonna be a pretty good spot. Safety first. Wow. I had the thought process down and the execution was horrific. That's really what the problem was. And I also had the wind wrong, I think. Got Kapalua. That box over there? Yeah, I think the, uh, the idea was there. I needed this wind, but also it was more off the right and kind of once it started turning to the left, kind of just rode it instead of standing up against it. But I mean, I have a putt, it's just, Forever. I mean, I'm just really working on my lag putting today out here. Go. Go, 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 go. Just working back up the mountain. Didn't hit it firm enough. All right, I'm glad this ball is where it is because just a few feet right is just this <laughs> freaking cliff. It would not have been a fun time down there, but I got a little putt left to right. Should be a little bit slow. For 60 bucks? I, like, it's been a tale of two Luke so far, the last few holes. <laughs> well, birdie, get it to the red numbers after that yeah, start. I feel like you are pulling for that putt to go in. It yeah, like it. I wasn't. I wasn't actually, yeah. Man, wow, what a reversal here on the last couple of holes. Go left, please. No, oh, it was so straight. Ah! Right. Oh, thanks, that means a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that's 60 bucks for me. Sean just put it, I mean, we're, we have two games going on, the four round tournament, stroke play, 18 holes, and also the money match in today's video. But 60 bucks for me, and we're all tied up. Tied up on the overall? Tied up on the overall. Let's go.
Alright, hole 7, par 4, 530. Uh, winch is off the right. It's a bit downhill, so you know, 530 usually scare you, but we got a little bit of help with the downhillness. Downhillness? <laughs> Get one in the fairway here, driver. Um, Quan has come to play here. There's a switch that flipped once that drone started working that Quan started working. Yeah, that drone angered me. <laughs> when the head pro tells you it's perfect, I think it's perfect. All right, I got 113. Actual 108 is the adjusted number. Should, wind should be kind of off the right, kind of down. So I'm gonna go with the like my bigger 55 degree uh, swing. Basically trying to hit this thing like 105, one, 100. All right, basically pin high, just a little right. I thought that wind was gonna drift it a little more, but we gotta look for birdie. All right, 106 adjusted. Like I said, Quan's on a heater right now. I just kind of got to survive it. Yeah, this should be a perfect 55 though. Time to start hitting some better freaking approach shots. Oh! oh yeah, we're hitting some better golf shots. We just need a little time to warm up. That's all we needed. Also, the, the that is nice. All right, Shayla, we got a... Okay, we got a short birdie putt, but this is kind of weird because I know that we just came down a steep slope here, but this looks like it's going right to left. I don't know, I don't want to be phased by that because I feel like this whole thing is just sloping left to right. So, let's try to make this thing. Mm, I try to like smash it kind of like through the break just in case the, I was a little wrong, but That's dang it. It's all right, it's a par for me. Let's see what Sean does. Yeah, kind of got away with one with the way that Quan's been putting the last couple holes. Honestly, I thought he had hooped it just maybe a touch too firm. Uh, but I got to focus here on mine. Should move just a little bit off to my right. Uh, yeah, maybe start it just outside that left edge and let it break right towards the middle. And get $70 richer. Because I think I'm in the negatives right now. There you go. All right, I was gonna fist bump you, I don't know why. Hey, there you oh, go. the camera ran on my side. All right, so Sean gets 70 bucks on this hole, goes back to one up overall, stroke play, but I don't know what that is total for the money, but we'll put that on the screen. You guys, you guys are already following along. All right, hole eight, we got a par three up here on the tournament tee box. 206, uh, actual number 193, so it's a good bit downhill. I think it's mostly off the right, maybe a little bit of hurt. What yeah. you got? I'm gonna go flight at five, but the good news is, is that I'm guessing you get to watch me. Good and day. then you get to make a, a very objective, smart decision with all the information. Be the knob. Stay right. That was pretty good. I think I found the right club. With a five iron? Hey, that's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go a slightly different approach. I'm gonna draw a six iron. Wind's off the right. I can kind of uh, ride the wind here a little bit. Just don't really have the confidence in uh, cutting it back into the wind because the moment it doesn't, it's gonna be long. Oh, goodness. Catch a piece of the grain. It's up and downsman time. All right. Obviously missed the green. Got a little bit of a knob to work with, so that kind of complicates things a little bit. Should push it a little bit to the left. I just gotta try to nestle this thing in real nice and tight. When do I not? I thought it was gonna be like back fringe. That's actually not, don't get me wrong, that's a bad chip, but it's better than I thought it was gonna be. All right, Shaler. Obviously hit a great iron shot in here. Just would love to convert. Golly, I even told myself that it was snapping. Ah, dude, I am keeping you in this, man. All right, Shaler, we gotta try to make this putt, get this hole to carry over to the next one for the money, but I think it's going left to right. Off the feet, I think it might try to go left, so 
That's kind of tricky part, but come on, ball. No, it didn't go right. It didn't go right. Dang it. It went left off my feet like I thought. Man. All right, so now I'm two down. Money-wise, I'm down a good bit. I don't know what the number is here, but you guys already see on the side of the screen. I'm gonna pick it up. Hole nine here at the plantation. We got 550 par five, dead into the fan. I know the head pro was saying that uh, that I think Finau from this box when they first opened it went driver, driver, just to get over the ravine. So I think we're looking at a pretty long hole, probably playing more like 680 to 700. But regardless, gotta send the driver. It's right at rough. least in play. Right rough. right rough. Right rough. Right rough. We take right rough. It bends up to the right, the hole does, so I'm just trying to take the shortcut. Alright, also going with the big dog. Let's go a little bit left to Sean. I think he was just barely in the right rough. Big dog. Can I pet that dog? Beautiful. This way, Thank you. That one's nice. That one's all good. All right, uh, strategically try to hit in the rough so we can maybe get a flyer to be able to hit it 278 adjusted into the wind. I'm lying, didn't, I hit it off the heel. I'm just gonna rip three wood up there, probably, hopefully end up with like a 30 yard pitch shot, but it's super gonna be super grainy. Yeah, we'll see if the Texas boy who used to have the yips has the cojones to pull that off. Good one. Hit two sprinkler heads. <laughs> oh god. You would have thought that Steve is about to hit drive off the deck right now. Whenever Steve tries to hit drive off the deck, he goes like this and then tees it up on one of these. <laughs> Sometimes he literally puts a tee in the ground. Anyways, I'm gonna go drive off the deck if you guys couldn't tell. I got 260 adjusted up the hill into the wind. I don't even know if this will make it, but we'll sure try. Where did that come from? That's gonna be tough to make a birdie from. <laughs> I didn't even top it. That video is sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a first on my channel. I've literally never done that. I kind of want to go back and look at the foot. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not even joking. It was not a top. Like I hit the face and it somehow just like top spin up. Anyways, it's in this stuff, but we got 170. Sean gave me a line. Hopefully it's a good line. Probably gonna go with the chippy six iron. That was kind of cool. I hope that's a number. I think that was a line. I got 44 here, middle of fairway, great lie. I always just kind of add a few uh, for the upslope, so that kind of takes it to 51. And then we're into the wind. And there's a giant false front short of this pin that if you land it there, I'm gonna be, literally, it's gonna roll all the way back past Quan. All right, kid, let's see if you learned anything. Nope, you've learned nothing. You've learned nothing. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Sean. That's, I mean, it's, there's nothing to be sorry for. I'm, I just, I just sucked on that shot. This is no fun where this is. The grass is like mowed tight, so there's not really a way to get under it. It's just hard, I don't know, surface to chip off of. So I'm gonna go low. If I happen to miss my spot, I wanna miss it long and I might be 30 feet away, but I would rather have that than have this chip again. I don't mind it. That takes a lot of uh, trusting to just hit a bullet chip shot into the hill. Yeah. This is like the graveyard of pitching. It's like all these like, I would say high handicaps, but I'm also here too. Look, look at these divots here. Just people who just take full swings just because they're so mad. This is their fourth chip shot from down here. I mean, that's pretty good. Wow, I feel like I took an extra bit of a backswing there because I felt like I was gonna chunk it and kind of played that chunk and run to perfection. All right, I wish this ball rolled out just a little more, but I will take it. I'm just gonna figure out the, the line while I'm over the ball, but I just gotta try to match the line and speed right up, up here. I just made a par after topping the driver. A weird top. I'm not even gonna say it's a top, I don't know what to call it, but. Top spin? Either way, it's in the sh- Oh, so you didn't drop. No, I dropped. I dropped. Oh, well then you made a six. 
You're right. You're right. That's I just wanted him to celebrate no, a little right. bit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, good pot. Go up and down. The up, up, down? Yeah, the just damage. Just a classic up, up, down. Damage control? Yeah. I'll take 90 from you, though. All right, 10th hole, par four, 384, straight uphill into the wind. This is, I know it says 384, but it's playing plenty longer than that. Uh, yeah. We're going driver. Heck yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta pound it probably even to hit it 260. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, a lot can happen on this back nine. This back nine can be pretty interesting. So, drivable par four, definitely reachable par five on 18, downwind. So, it's gonna be crazy. Beauty. I feel like they carried like 240. <laughs> the hang time is so short. It's so short. Cause it's so uphill. I know, and into the wind. So, yeah. it's like you kind of like sting it to get it low. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. Two balls in the fairway, I think. Woo. Got a three-shot lead. Got a little bit of cash in my pocket. I got 116 up to 120, but it's playing dead into the fan. It's kind of maybe a touch off the left. I'm gonna hit a nine iron from 120. Yeah, you heard that right. All right, I got 102 adjusted. I think it's like 87 actual. So we're pretty way, good ways up there. But again, it's howling into the wind. He just hit a nine iron from 120. So I might be hitting pitching wedge here from 102. Probably like playing like a 125 shot. Oh, it's gotta go. Sketch. Don't know. All right, this is not as left as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany was trying to step over my line and said she stepped right on it, but it's all good. Yeah, it should be just kind of up the hill, but putting down wind, so we're just trying to figure it out. I feel like I've said that a lot. Figure it out over the ball. Mm. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, kind of a little bit of an opportunity. Dude, I feel like I've hit a lot of good putts this week. Go in. All right, hole 11, dude, this view is unbelievable. You guys will see it on the drone shot, but par three, pins on the right, winds off the right. I think it's hurting just a touch, if anything. 152 adjusted. I'm gonna go, uh, 152 nine iron. Just take a uh, basically five, uh, ten yards off this nine iron. Wow, how was that that short? This is a weird one. I think I'm gonna go eight and just hit it flighted, so I don't really have to worry about the wind as much. It's kind of at least the idea. We'll see if it works. Oh my goodness, it was painting it, dude. I guess it was an eight iron. I didn't even flight it that well, honestly, so I'm kind of happy I hit eight instead of nine, but I got a birdie putt. All right, got a long putt here. I'm short of the green, obviously. Left to right quite a bit. This freaking view, man. Let's try to two putt this thing. I mean, that wasn't even remotely close. What the fuck? Hit a pretty good shot in here. It wasn't as close as I thought it was, but it should be a pretty straight putt, hopefully. A little bit slow back into the grain, even though I'm putting towards the ocean. We shall see. Ocean. And it goes left. Huh. I went left too, and I was so surprised Weird. by that. You know what? Actually, the grain's kind of going that way. I should have probably paid attention a little bit more. Goodness. I think the brakes went quick too. Dang it. It's another. Well, it's not really technically a three putt, but 
In my eyes, it's a three putt, putting from off the fringe, but I gotta figure something out on this back nine, man. Dang it. All right, hole 12 here, plantation. We got a 424 yard par four. I think this is one DJ drove to like two feet one time, which is impressive now standing here on this tee box. Uh, kind of totally blind. I think we're gonna try to bang it towards that little part of the ocean there. My balance is awful, but that was tight. That's in the fairway. Yeah. Uh, looks perfect, I think. Yeah, no, I, I really like it. It's just that balance, like it was like, mm. All right, just like Sean said, we gotta get some birdies, man. What about two over for the day? A lot of it's from putting, honestly, so. Let's just keep doing this part right. I have no clue. I mean, I wanna say it looks a little bit right, but no idea. <laughs> Hope it's good. All right, I got 87 yards adjusted. I mean, this looks like green light special, so let's try to get that stroke back on the last hole. 87 yards, should be downwind. I'm gonna go with like an 80 shot with my uh, 60 degree. Draw. Wow, that thing went. I have 44 yards here, but I'm kind of thinking almost of kind of hitting it a little lower and landing short of the green and letting it roll because we're downwind and it looks like everything kind of off the front edge is kind of just going to run away from me. So I'm going to try to land it a little bit shorter, hit it a little lower and see if it'll kind of roll up onto the green to where the distance we want. All right. Okay. All right. Not bad. We got to make that, man. Come on. Let's put a nail in Quan's coffin. Uh, all right. I got to be hitting six degree wedge shots closer than that, but we are here, right to left, putt. Again, like I've been saying, I haven't made a birdie in a little while, so gotta try to catch that fire again. Oh my goodness. Behind the hole. SMH, HSMH. Hey, ah oh, man. Opportunity. To grow the bank account and to grow my lead. Alrighty, it's another 120 bucks in the bank account, and I think that moves my lead to five up because I think I'm 14 under total. All right, hole 13 here at the plantation course. We got a 380 par four, and now this is a hole I remember from December because I remember hitting driver and it being like a tight 15 yard bottleneck and it just it's like a super severe right to left slope so i'm gonna hit three wood try to keep it short of that uh, i think it's about 260 to that i don't have a book that would probably help i think that might be even too much i don't know i stung the crap out of that i hit that so good all right uh sean gave me a line i don't know if you guys noticed i've never played this place but uh i'm gonna go with the line he gave me Go three wood. It was pretty much going at the flag. It's a little further left than his line that he gave me, but I, we'll see. All right, missed the fairway left, 130 adjusted. And it looks like there's a, apparently there's a shelf on the right side where the flag is at. So I guess right is actually the miss here. 130 wind off the left into, I'm gonna go with the, Chippy nine iron. Feel me? <laughs> I mean, it looked good in the air. We'll see. 102, uphill to 108. But again, off this upslope into the wind. I'm going pitching wedge again and I'm playing it about, I think I'm gonna hit it about 115, 118. I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit of flight so it doesn't balloon up so much. I know, I, I, I kind of like it. The last one I liked was a little bit long, but I felt like I nailed the number a little bit better on that. All right, I thought I was like short, short. I, I'm, I'm just on top of this little uh, mound right here, which is fine, got a little putt. I mean, mountain's over there, so I, I think it should be kind of tending to try to go left, but the wind's also trying to hold it up a little bit. So overall, I think it's gonna be pretty straight.
All right, mine should be moving just a little bit right to left. It's gonna be pretty slow, I think, kind of putting back into the grain a little. Let's see if we can get another one. Mm. Oh, a little bit kind of left on that one. Here, let me clean that up. There you go. Oh, a little testy. I know, it kind of snuck in there. <laughs> It's all right, I think I'm still five back. I mean, money match, I still feel like there's a chance of maybe coming back with all the carryovers and everything, but not been a good, like, I don't know, six, seven holes for me. I think we got about 289 uphill to 307, I thought it was. Really a good drivable hole here. There's crap right, there's OB even more right. Then there's jungle left with a bunker, and the wind's left to right. It's always left to right, it seems like, man. Darn it. Oh, missed, it missed a bunker. You missed a bunker. Yeah. That shouldn't be a bad spot. Yeah. Man, every time you get a drivable part for though, you just want to hit a good drive and drive it up there close. Everybody wants to be Matt Sharp, right? Can we reach the green? Maybe I think you got to hit like a good one with a fade that kind of okay. rides the wind more than turns against right, well, it. Well, we'll try then. Low enough, it might not. Well, just kidding. Tense fairway, which I think it's a fairway finder, bro. I can't tell if it's a good thing or bad thing chipping around here. <laughs> Honestly, chipping out the rough is kind of nice. Get like underneath the ball, get some spin on it. Oh yeah. Honestly, pretty good drive. I mean, it's pretty narrow. It's probably one of the narrowest driving holes out here. Not the greatest line in the rough, but hey, you know, you hit in the rough. If you were in the fairway. That's when you should get good lies. So I have some room though. Gonna kind of chop it out, do the old chunk and run, and uh, hopefully we can hit it close. A little short, six feet. All right, all it's right. Not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. All right, my ball is actually in the fairway, which I will say for this one's not too bad. Don't need to open up the face or anything. So it's just I can't see the green, so gonna have to try to feel it. I mean, it looked like it landed too short. Oh, it's not too bad. All right, a little right to left spin over here. I think the grain's moving left as well, so this could be a hard snap spin on top of that. Big snaps. Oh, curl that sucker in there. I haven't seen one of those in a while. What's a birdie? Good birdie, quad. I feel like when you're struggling and you finally make a birdie and somebody in your group tells you good birdie, you almost feel like it's kind of pity. But it's not. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> you're like, thanks, jerk. Okay, should be straight up the gut, really. I know the mountain's kind of going this way, but the grain's coming right back into me. Maybe it's going to go a touch to the right, but all in all, it should just be firm just inside that left edge. Ooh, that lip is generous on this one. Dude, hole. it's nice. It was nice to both of us. Yeah. But hey, look at that. It's been a while since we've birdied the same hole. Two birdies push. That's right. On this hole. Oh, that was, I didn't even think about that. That was a huge putt. <laughs> this is why I can get crazy on the back is these holes can push over and can be like $500 on one hole real easily. So it's not over. If you guys are serious about taking your game to the next level and you're struggling taking your golf game from the driving range over to the golf course or even going from your home course to another course and struggling, I genuinely think having a higher golf IQ will really help you guys out with that. I've said it many times before, but up until college golf, all I was playing was golf swing. I was not playing golf. I was told a lot of things by my coach on how to navigate through golf courses and kind of go through the correct thought process on the golf course. All those things will be in my course manager program. Here's a little sneak peek of what you'll find in that program right here. If I slow down my thoughts here so I can just try to explain, you know, my thought process to you, I probably initially thought, all right, let's hit my 170 club, about 155, which is the, the raw yardage here. But then you're gonna also think about, all right, I'm taking off a pretty good amount of yardage if I were to hit that shot. So what happens when you do that? There's actually a free version of a course manager program. It's not the real version, but the free version is in the eye in the top right corner, or I'll put a link in the description. I have my swing program as well. If you want help with your golf swing, I have that link in the description as well.
Alright, hole 15, we got a par 5. This is a, uh, it's like a double dog leg. So it goes a little bit to the right, and it goes back a little bit to the left. I think this is the hole that, what were you saying? Colin Morikawa had a hard time getting on the green. Yeah, I think he had a couple shot lead and he uh, struggled with his chipping. I mean, I'm hole. not gonna lie. Coming out here, I can see the struggles. I mean, it's just so grainy and this, the foundation of it is like kind of sandy. Right. I mean, I get it. So let's try Scary. to do a little better here. What do you got, driver? Yep, driver, and I think it's, there's kind of like a V tree that you can kind of see in the light. I think that that's a great line to land it on because it'll all kind of kick to the right. So I do remember hitting it a little right here and being surprised that I was okay. I mean, that's gotta be the perfect line, no? I'm in love with that drive. Didn't hear any trees. I'm sorry, Allison. <laughs> I'm falling in love with that drive. It's not you, it's me. All right, let's see if we can try to monkey see, monkey do on this tee shot. Wins off the left, kind of down. I think he hit it right in the speed slot too, so. Oh, not quite the fade I wanted. She will be aight. It's in that shadow somewhere, I think. Didn't quite catch the down slope. Sean is way down there because this speed slot he caught, but I got 233 actual, 243 adjusted. Uh, a bit uphill, obviously, so. I think I'm gonna go three iron. I mean, it's it's a little bit down off the left, so if, as long as I hit this thing good, give it a little roast sesh, it should get there. Oh, it was roasted, but it's too far right. Wow, that's not even close to reaching. 175 to 92, it's so funny. My ball was about 15 yards right of Quan's, and now like with where they ended up, I'm probably 35 yards right, just because of these big slopes here at Kapalua. That pin's in the front, and kind of as Luke had referenced, uh, you know, kind of many people over the years have had trouble chipping from short, especially to these front pins, just because it's so grainy, so uphill. I'm really making sure that air on the side alone. Oh, please go. Oh my lordy, dude. Really? Coming back, Shayla, you still got it there, bud? Yeah, look at that, still going, isn't it? Still going. And stop finally, I think. Nope. Oh, no. I'm wrong. Oh, keep going, bud. Alright, oh it just God. stopped. <laughs> How are you supposed to keep it in this fairway, man? This is brutal. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I think it, it rolled so far because it got so close to the green. It had like a ton of momentum. I got 37 yards. Got air on the side along. Got to make good contact. So we're going to add a few. Try to hit it about 43, 44. Make sure we get it up there. Dude, I feel like I really liked that. I don't know. It's just one of those you just have to trust the controlled stab. I got a thumbs up. I got a thumbs up from B-Cam Brit. All right. All right, Sean has hit a nice one up there. I need to try to copy that. I got like 36 yards. I mean, honestly, similar shot as Sean, just a different angle. That's really good, Quan. From here, it looked like it was gonna one-hop dunk, did it not? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Oh, she gave you a thumbs up too. Let's go. Two thumbs up. <laughs> All that talk about how hard this shot was. I, know. I mean, I will say, if you're trying to get that ball up quickly, like if it's a really close to the front flag, yeah, I can see it. That, I'm telling you guys, like this is not very easy stuff to chip off of. It's not because he sucks at chipping. It's just, it's hard conditions really. Let's just tap both these guys in. All right. I mean, that's good. Oh, thanks. that's good. Thanks, man. Did you hear me say man? Oh my thanks, gosh, man. I'm nice. growing. I'm a changed dude. Yeah. You there? Damn, you got to give that some force. I really did. I don't know why I took that big of a backstroke. That was kind of dumb. Honestly, I wasn't really thinking. It definitely didn't go through a routine. All right, so that hole we were playing for 420. I don't know what the next hole is. 16? Yeah, 580 next 580 hole. 580 on the next. It is getting crazy. So if, if someone wins on the next hole, you could double it or I could come back. All right, hole 16, we got a par four, 369. Damn she fine. Uh, this is worth what, 560? 580. 580. 580. 580, and I'm down 560, so if I win this hole, I could be up $20. The strokes, we won't talk about that. I mean, okay, big bounce. Big bounce means it didn't land a bunker. Juan's like, just tell me about the money. Man, that drive, he wants that 580. 
Wrong bonkers. Oh. Stay alive. You don't know. I feel like I'm in a bunker. Shoot, dude. I did that the last time I played here. <laughs> I kind of got lucky. I think my pitch mark's right here. So I think I kind of landed a little softer spot. Got away with it. 81 yards up to 85. I think it's in the back. There's like, it's kind of like a tiered green. And I think it's in the back. Shaler, I'm boring you. I think you're mm, yawning. I was yawning, yeah. I understand that. I probably put everybody to sleep when I talk. Anyway, I want to hit a good shot. I want to keep birdieing holes. Is that too much to ask? What are you doing? That was kind of weird. Was kind of chunky, but not chunky. I didn't get anything from Brittany, which means it's probably not good. All right, I got 77 yards. Luckily flew the bunkers. Um, apparently that flag's kind of on the back shelf, so gotta be a little bit aggressive with it. Make sure it gets past that little ridge. Probably like just land it right on it. Got in my ear fly. Oh, that looks a little bit short. Oh, oh we got up. the thumbs up. I hope that's not a generous thumbs up. <laughs> like it's your girlfriend and she's trying to be nice to you, thumbs yeah. up. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> right, exactly. exactly. Alrighty. This is breaking left. I don't even know, $580 hole, I think. I better make it, because Quan's making three. Dude, you gotta hit it harder, man. You gotta hit it harder. Oh. Okay, Quan, knock it in. Do it to me. That, that door just opened. Try to make this thing left to right. All right. This has been a weird roller coaster of a round. How am I in the red numbers again? I mean, I started off two over really quickly, got it back, screwed up the middle holes, and now I'm back to one under. <laughs> I'm still a good bit far away from him on stroke play, but I'm up $20. All right, 17th hole, we are now starting to go downhill and downhill a lot. We got a par four, three, oh, 550 downhill par four. It's like 370 through the fairway, so hopefully it doesn't go that. I'm not saying that because we hit it far, but because it's so far downhill. Could roll that out that far. Again. Hopefully it's just not 370. That's all we're looking for. All right, I think Quan hit a good one. I mean, holy smokes, we're definitely gonna have some hang time here. Wind's gonna push it left. Yep, I mean, that looks perfect. Right where I wanted to hit it. We'll see, bro. We shall see. I think we're good on the 370. Perfect. All right, we got 215 actual down to 200 adjusted. So I don't know, it's like kind of down off the right, but I'm not really feeling a whole lot. So that's making me want to hit like a softy six, but I feel like there's got to be some wind. We'll make up my mind here eventually. Softy six. Pushed it, help me out wind. Whoa. Need that ball to be a little closer. I feel like Sean's gonna hit one tight for his eagle. Par four. Par four. I'm gonna do it. All right. I got 187, 174 with the adjustment. So just a touch right of Brittany, and I think the green kind of canters back to the left. I don't know if canter is the word, but it just sounded like the right thing to say. Oh my oh. goodness. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I tricked you. I probably did have a little bit too much club. But honestly, I just hit it really solid. Like, I hit it really nice. It kind of just rode the wind a little too much, went a little long. But I think that's a good spot to putt from, though. All right. I have got a uh, pretty long putt. Right to left, good amount. Sun's just blinding me. But should be a decent size. I'm going to say decent size swinger. <laughs> but then there I go. I already said it. Hmm. Roll ball. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Speed wise and line wise. I'll just tap it in. Yeah. What the? This just like vibrated like a phone. It went bump bump. Quan's starting to hear things. I'm getting delusional. Quan is getting delusional. I wouldn't really call this a look, but it's like a 
quarter of a look, I guess. I really just want, I want a two putt and get out of here and go try to make birdie or eagle on 18. No. That was a good putt. That was good, that was a good putt as well. Oh. Thanks, dude. Yep. All right, so that's a, that's a push on that hole. 18, it's gonna be a lot of money on that one. All right, final hole, 18. You know what's really cool? I mean, the, don't get me wrong, this view is unreal, but we get this view like on pretty much 85% of the course. Like, we, this is awesome. This has been such a cool day. Let's try to finish this hole off, hopefully with an eagle, hopefully two birds. Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. Uh, that's a bit left. Don't know on the bounce. I couldn't see it, but I know it was kind of landing that left half of the fairway. Yeah, we'll see. Quan's trying to take the more direct route on the 670 par five. On uh, accident. Yeah, I, I think he's okay. He's probably just in the left rough. Just kind of gonna make the second shot a little tougher. I'm gonna try to hit it. Yeah, like Quan's line was just kind of the left corner of the clubhouse. That is it right there. Yeah, I mean, I saw I, one bounce and it's just I, rolling from there. I don't think I could have hit my line any more precisely. Seriously. So, God, I love the way I drove the ball today. Feeling better, feeling better, but let's end it, huh? Let's make an eagle. Or birdie, I'm fine with birdie too. All right, we got we got 295 actual number, 275 adjusted. I'm gonna go three wood. We're a little bit downwind, not a whole lot of wind right now at this, at this time of day, but that flag might be one of the harder flags to try to make eagle on. I think in order for us to try to get this, these balls close, we have to sling it in, just like they see it on TV. So I'm in the rough, but I'm still gonna do it. Landed right of the green, pretty big old draw. Oh, the draw that didn't draw. I had the height. Maybe we just barely threw. Yeah. 272, 256. Like Quan said, I think we gotta sling it. And one thing I know about my five wood is I can hook that thing. I think I'm just really just raking a hook in from the right. It's kind of gonna start right over this bunker and hopefully be moving hard left. So let's give it a go. 272, 256. I think it's too much. I'm gonna go three. 256? Oh yeah, like maybe. Like if it's like rolling? Yeah, maybe. Oh, I mm. it, and it's in the bunker. I'm no, no, it's just it stayed up in the rough. Oh, is that that might be worse? Is that worse? I don't know. Potentially, who knows? All right, wish this drew in, uh, just so I can show you guys kind of what, how they do it on TV. But I'm just not as good. But 43 <laughs> yards is kind of like I'm apparently not able to land this on the green. The flag is 63, but I'm not even looking at that number. I'm looking like 43-ish, trying to land it short of the green, let it trickle up. I'll trust it. Work out for me? Okay. All right, that worked out. I was trying to land it like on the fringe, like two yards short of that, which to be fair, my ball is probably a yard past the flag, so that was probably correct. All right, I'm like 30 yards short of the green. I kind of just caught it a little heavy. I feel like if I had pured it, that this entire thing just kind of goes, but I gotta respond or else I lose, I believe it's $350 more than I'm already down, which is 20. Crap, okay. Safety first, I guess. I just, I mean, when you kind of have a lie like that, you expect it to go a little left, leave the blade open, but I got a birdie putt. All right, I got a force to make from Quan here. Uh, should be moving pretty good to my right. I don't think we could have timed it up any better. We just watched the sunset here at Kapalua Plantation on 18th. Uh, it's beautiful. What would be even more beautiful is making this putt. That would be incredibly beautiful. I've had a nice day today, you know? Sometimes, you know, you get a Sunday and you just want to put a cherry on top. Mm. Oh, 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 oh wow, dude, you are clutch, man. That was a nice little bag nine I put together. That I feel was like worth a lot of money. That was, that was. You knock yours in, please. Come on. 
Ooh. Use all of that thing. <laughs> Use all of that thing. <laughs> Dude. Hey. Good playing. Dude, that was so fun, bro. Thank Sean, you for having me. For sure, he won the stroke play. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed these 18 hole videos. Uh, shout out to Shaler for freaking grinding on yes. all these. Yes, sir. But hey, don't forget, you won 20 bucks in the That's money. That's true. <laughs> <You're rich. laughs> But thank you guys for watching these 18 hole videos. I know they can be a little bit long, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you give me a like, it really helps me out if you guys do that. If you're part of the 6% that are watching that are not subscribed, what are y'all doing? Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in some more Hawaiian content. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.